Rockstar presenters don't use details like most people do. They actually share very few details during their sessions, selecting only the ones we can best remember, and then they share the real details in handouts and takeaway resources. This microlearning module will show you how to do this too. Check your skills. Take a minute and predict how many different details are displayed in one minute of the average TED Talk. Don't count what the presenter says, just what he or she displays on screen. Do you have your prediction? Pause this video, search for any TED Talk, and play a random one-minute segment, counting the number of details you see on the presenter's slide deck or presentation. Then come back and resume this video. Your research is complex. Your presentation should not be. Give your audience an overview of your idea, process, or conclusion, and give them a simple set of takeaways to remember. Four or fewer is ideal. This set of microlearning modules itself has only four. Time, visuals, details, and interactions. Your research is complex, so all the detail that you might want to share in your presentation should get shared in your handouts. Put in the charts, graphs, tables, dense white paper theory stuff. The real point of a presentation is to get people interested in learning more about your ideas. That more should be in your handouts. Oh, and give them to your audience after your presentation. Otherwise, they'll just start reading during your session. Sometimes your point is your information. When you share data, show patterns that can be discerned without looking at the labels. Don't provide more than two or three trends in the same data set. Present one idea or comparison at a time, and be sure to explain verbally what people see on the screen. Remind your participants regularly how what they are seeing and hearing now maps to your larger topic and goal. In a 45-minute session, plan for at least two stop-and-review points to tie things together. Just like with visuals, select details that demonstrate the diversity of your work, research, and ideas. Show how your presentation applies to participants from varying institutional types, walks of life, and backgrounds. Or at least explain why your presentation applies to only one sort of audience. A great example of presenters who select only the top-level details for their presentations is Joanne Bainey from Columbia University. Her advice for presenting to your boss applies equally well to presenting at a conference. Pause this presentation and watch her two-minute video called Can You Create a High-Level Presentation? and learn what not to do when selecting details. Then come back here. Okay, it's time to build your presentation. What are up to four key takeaways that you want your audience to remember? What's the simplest way you can state these ideas? Write down your four or fewer takeaways, what kind of detailed information you'll put into your handouts, and what ideas require data visualization. To go beyond what we've covered in this microlearning module, look up Laura Foley's Secrets of Awesome Handouts and learn how to design differently for the page versus the screen. Now that you have completed this microlearning module on details, where will you go next? You can experience these microlearning modules in any order. Want a hint? Try interactions next. Thank you for working on this microlearning module.